You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nery here from Drake Queen Gaming. So we may answer to the gaming drag today. I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Undefeated. Oh boy, y'all. Uh, oh, I don't know how this is all going to turn out, but oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up and let's go. <sighs> no shot. His baton flickers back to life. I'm not trying to fuck with you, man. I gotta stop the commission, dude. He's gonna hurt Xander. Fucking good? That's kind of the whole reason you're down here. I slam a fist into the bar without thinking. It stings for a second. Cole! I'm not fuck- Ah! Cole's baton slips through the bars and jabs me in the abs. It didn't linger for more than a second, but it felt like taking a cannonball at point blank. My body drops and convulses, teeth gritting as I try to force my muscles under control. Ha 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 ha! You're so fucking pathetic, dude. No wonder the old man's getting rid of you. You can't even put a lightweight out to save yourself. I'll let you deal with that for a bit. Have fun, dickhead. I lay there, heaving and growling as the pain courses its way out through my body. He's fighting tonight, and there's nothing I can do about it. I'm fucking useless. What the fuck am I doing? I've made it out of worse situations. I'm the goddamn champion, undefeated. This is no different from any other fight. I'm gonna find a way out, and we'll put an end to all this. <clears throat> so, this mystery fight. Am I allowed to watch? I never really thought about that. Uh, probably not. Unless you know which arena it's located in. I do not. And there wasn't any sort of official broadcast announcement. Security cameras, maybe? He thinks for a second and smiles. Can't say I know how to get into those, but we'll give it a shot. Appreciate it. Feels like this elevator is taking forever to come up. Bucky puts a hand on my shoulder. Breathe. You're gonna do great. I smile and nod. Thanks. And this time, I actually believe him. I'm stronger now. Stronger than, I, stronger than I was for every fight before this. It helps that Harvey's much closer to my size than Bruce is, too. Even though Bruce said he lost to him before, the old man's had to have gotten weaker since then. The elevator door opens up. I take a breath. Part of me doesn't want to step inside. Once I do, the doors are going to close. And when they close, that'll be it. Do or die time. I don't want to die. I let the breath go. I turn around, wrapping my arms around Bucky. You know, can Xander win, like, once, please? That would be wonderful if he could win once. <laughs> this whole game, he's just been getting the shit kicked out of him. Please, let him have one fight where he actually comes out on top. I turn around, wrapping my arms around Bucky. He seems surprised for a second, then hugs me even tighter. Thank you for everything. You're the one that's put that's put that's been putting in the work, Xander. Thank you for letting me be your coach. We hug for what feels like a little bit too long, but I don't care. I need this. There we go. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, I'm giddy for this. I step onto the elevator and get one more look at Bucky. Knock him dead. I'll make you proud. The door is closed, just me and the attendant. Uh, doing all right? Just going through a lot. Sounds like you've been busy. Uh, I was the elevator guy before your first fight. Oh, right, I remember you. Good to see you're not nervous anymore. Well, maybe not entirely. He laughs. Well, at least you've calmed down a bit. You were dead serious last time I saw you. It's been a rough few months. The attendant nods and looks down at his tablet. I tried to ask too many questions, but, uh, how'd you end up with all this? He gestures to his tablet with the information on it. I can't exactly give any details. Fair enough. Uh, you feel good? About the fight? Uh, just in general. I think so. Even if I lose, I'll figure something out. That's a good attitude to have, then. We reach the bottom and the door is open. The lights are already on. Just, uh, whatever happens, we're rooting for you. We? Maybe the rest of the staff? The look he's giving is anxious? Confident? Hopeful. I nod and step out with a smile. I'll do everything I can. Good luck! The doors close. I'm alone, basking under the lights. My stomach doesn't hurt. Not the way it did before. I'm ready for you, Harvey. Right on time, his door opens up and he steps out. 
Yep. I'm not sure what I expect underneath his suit, but he certainly seems more prepared for the fight than I was thinking. He approaches the ring, looking frustrated. Well, piece of shit, you don't deserve to be angry. Good to see you made it. I trust you didn't leak any more details. I know what would have happened if I did. Smarter than you seem. Clearly not wise, though, given that you followed through on the fight. He tilts his head to either side, emitting loud pops from his old joints. Whenever you're ready, I'll finish what Bruce couldn't. Don't talk about Bruce like that. He knew what he was doing. Bruce was too scared to fight against you. I'll do it for him. The commissioner steps forward. After a deep breath, I do too. Oh, God, I have... Ah, oh, my nerves! My nerves right now, y'all. The buzzer rings. We raise our fists. His guard is high. Clearly, he's got some, some Mai Tai training. Stand-up fighting could be a problem. I might stand a chance if I can get him on the ground. He's heavier than me, though. I don't know if I want to gamble on that. I'll see if I can outbox him, but if it comes to it, we can always grapple. I extend a glove for a tap. To tap. Force of habit, I guess. He does, too. Bad idea. He gets a hold of my hand and pulls me forward, swinging a hook from my jaw. I manage to duck under it, only for him to step in closer with two more jabs to my face. My gloves pull up just in time to eat the shots. If I can just... Ah! Harvey lands a kick against my side. I stagger back, hoping to get some distance to breathe. He's fast. I'm starting to doubt he's as old as I was thinking. The kick left a bit of a sting against my ribs. I don't think I can take too many of those. Again, my opponent moves in. No time to think, just act. Harvey's, le Harvey's lead leg kicks out low. I step back, letting it miss. That evasion makes my stance wobbly. It'd be unwise to put myself in a bad position, so I rebalance myself another step back. The edge of the ring is approaching. Harvey is as well, closing in as I move backward. He sends a jab that barely misses along with another leg kick. As I attempt to block the kick, his elbow breaks through my guard and cuts across my face. My guard immediately tightens around my snout. Ka! Fists rain in from every direction. I try to duck, bob, weave, block, anything to get out. I can't bring myself to move back any further, so I move forward. Air shoots through my gritted teeth as his knee pierces my abs. Desperate, I push, hoping to circle out, but with a firm grip, he pulls me down into another knee. I manage to defend, but the force behind it is enough to do plenty of damage to my arms. In the struggle, I get hold of his knee before he pulls it back down. One pick of the knee is all it takes to make him scared. I've got my head pressed against his chest, and I can feel him tense up immediately. An arm hooks over mine, and in no time at all, he managed to break my takedown attempt, shoving me away. I'll take it. An unsuccessful takedown, but I've learned that he really does not want to go to the ground. All I have to do is survive until I can get him there. My cheek tingles. I touch it, and find blood dribbling through my fur. The elbow must have done some damage. It's not too bad, though. I can still fight. Push through the sting. Keep my heart pumping. Once the adrenaline dies down, then I can worry. But not now. Harvey's walking toward me, calm. The same deadly expression on his face. I try to match it, but I don't know if it has the same effect. Probably not. I'm really missing Bruce's teasing right about now. I'll pull my guard up and he does the same. He starts the offensive, firing jabs from my face. With enough distance, there's no problem evading him, but I need to start firing back. His stance is strong, but his midsection is wide open. If I can start chopping away at his body, I'll be in a good place. A straight punch comes from my face, blowing right over my head as I duck. I stand my ground and send a combo to his body, finishing with an uppercut to his chin. The blow to his body lands, but my uppercut misses, and before I can react, a knee lands against my body. I fold forward, spitting air out and trying to defend, but the blow keep, blows keep coming. Punches rain down again, blow, plowing into my guard. Each one stings against my skin, and the force quickly tears through my stamina. I'm getting back to the edge again. Harvey's size and speed make, him, make quick work as I turtle forward, scrambling to find out. A knee pierces into my body again. I step back, but I know I'm outside the ring. Maybe I can sneak to the side. Ka! Again, the, the knee plows into me, finding its mark in my solar plexus. I can feel my limbs try to go limp, but not before Harvey gets a hold under my arms. Huh! He leaps up, firing a knee aimed forward from my chin. My gloves block the way, but the sheer force behind it is enough to shake me. Harvey hisses, this time pulling my head down to the strike. Damn! Good lord, Xander! Xander's way too analytical a fighter. He keeps thinking about what he should do instead of just doing. Not sure how, but the knee slips through my hands, finding its mark against my nose. Feels like something breaks. I lose myself for a moment. My head feels heavy, and I can't seem to get my body to cooperate. It all feels kind of fuzzy. Come on, man, where's that fire and that where's the fire you had in the last match you had against Bruce? He tries for another knee, I think. My guard holds it at bay, but just barely. Blood sprays off as my gloves slam back into me. I can't let him get another one in. 
the clear mind to get hold of his knee before he pulls it back down. Again, he goes to defend it, but I act too fast, turning to the side and throwing the old man to the ground. But with the grippy out of my arms, I don't exactly get the advantage I was hoping for. He pulls me down, but in the heat of the moment, I manage to slip through his arms and fall back onto my ass. He scrambles to mount me, and I stumble back to make space. He was ready for me to take him down, and I don't know if I want to get on top when he has a hold on me. So I opt to get to my feet instead. He rises, too, looking more annoyed than he was before. I really need a second to catch my breath. My nose is bleeding bad, clogging my snout, forcing me to breathe with my, with my mouth open. That just gives him an easier target if he swings from my jaw. Doesn't matter. Harvey's moving in. I smear the blood across my arm and sip in some air. He's much more aggressive now. I guess the takedown pissed him off. Blows ran into my face. It's a lot harder to avoid them now. Everything feels heavy, sluggish. I'm blocking more often than dodging, which only makes my body ache more. Yeah, if you're if you're sending him into a into a flurry, that means he is losing his calm. Probably a good thing. It means his blows might actually be far less effective if he's just throwing them wildly. I managed to send a few good shots back in retaliation, but through the pain, he only doubles his output. Everything I give him, he gives back twice as hard. I work his body. He abuses mine. I touch his chin. He makes my snout even worse off. I'm starting to see blood paint the cement beneath us. Can't focus on that. Have to deal with Harvey's relentless assault. One step forward, two steps back. One clean blow, two in return. It's like he's punishing me for fighting back. A running theme, I guess. But the fight goes on. He's starting to sweat, but his expression barely changes, even when I land a good hit. Just gotta keep fighting. Maybe I can bait, it out, of, bait out a kick and punish him for it. Or take him down and finish it. He comes in with more punches, and, a bit of, and in a bit of desperation, I clinch up with him. He's hot, panting slowly as our exhausted bodies pressed against each other. Gotta position my legs properly, otherwise he can trip me and take me down. I was hoping he'd, take, he'd need a break as much as I do, but he's clearly doing much better than I am. Can't think like that. I can still win this. With a huff, he shoves me back, because my break is over. I start to go in for an attack, but he lifts his leg, turning a uh, body turning to aim a kick. I lean back, letting the kick pass a hair's length from my snout. The whiplash makes me flinch, shutting my eyes for a split second as my body returns to its place. Oh! Everything goes fuzzy. Blood sprays as my head cranks to the side, followed shortly by the rest of my body. Come on, Bruce. It's been a while. Zan's probably having his fight right about now. And I'm stuck down here waiting for whatever punishment the old man wants to throw at me. As if getting knocked ain't enough. Bored as hell. Nervous as fuck. Guess I'd be asking too much to have a radio or something playing. It did give me plenty of time to think about everything, so I guess they got what they wanted out of me. Rehabilitation works. But I'm kind of over sitting around and thinking about what I've done. I've spent too much time feeling sorry for the shitty choices I made. I need to take action. Gotta take responsibility. Xander's fight, Redline's injuries, it all happened because I wouldn't stand up to Harvey. So first step, getting out of this cell. Maybe I should try calling out again. Call! No response. I need the bathroom. You got a toilet in there. He's still in the other room, judging from how far away he sounds. Shit's busted. Just hold it. To fucking when? I hear a sigh followed by heavy footsteps approaching. Here comes the annoying part. I fold my arms over my chest, hiding my hands in my armpits. Just pray he doesn't notice I'm not wearing my gloves. What do you mean it's busted? I mean it's busted. I flushed it early and it didn't fill back up. Flush it now. Fuck, I didn't expect him to think about it. Figured he'd just open the door to come in. I turn around and flush it with my foot. Sure enough, it works fine, and I look like a jackass. Cole just snorts and starts to walk away. Hold up. What? I'm gonna miss the start of your little boyfriend's fight. Fuck, okay, guess I don't have any time to waste. Alright, I'm gonna pause it right there, y'all. I guess in the next episode, we shall see how Bruce makes his grand escape. Alright, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely Brahms tier patrons. Thank y'all if I do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Kate Silver, and thank you going above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. And thank you to our two gold tier patrons, Zeke and Toby. Y'all are awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to Ultimate Tier. Anyway, excuse me if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to all of our Not Safe for Work contents as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye